Uh, good evening. I've uh, been recently kind of impressed with the social medium stuff. Uh, I'm using, if you're watching my videos, of course you're watching it over the social medium. And uh, I got up uh, the other morning and my daughter said, I think that Kale, who was my nephew, I think that Kale's baby died. And I said, well, gee, how would you know that? And she said, uh, it's on Facebook. And I thought, wow, how bizarre is that? And uh, I called my twin brother, and yes, his son, they went to the hospital to deliver the baby, and the baby died before it was delivered. They finally did deliver. It's kind of a gruesome tale that I'm not going to get into. But I was fascinated how I found out in Europe, and I was the first family member to know, well, outside my daughter. Uh, my other brother lives in the States. My mom lives in Canada, and I guess she knew. I guess my brother called and uh, was pretty mad at the world, and I called him, I said, you know, what's going on, is this true? And he said, yeah, and so we've talked a couple of times over the last few days, I've talked to his son, and it's a traumatic and sad situation, they've used Facebook to announce the, the everything that's going on with the baby, apparently, according to my kids, I haven't really followed it, but uh, just kind of an interesting way to find out about things going on in your life. I talked to my mom, and she said, well, how did you find out? And I said, Facebook. And she was, ah. I said, no, it's Kale's post. My nephew is posting uh, this stuff on Facebook, so it's not an hat. Ah, it's something that he has done. Uh, I do classes in human potential. At one point, I was working with my mentor and uh, a young man who I don't didn't like Martin or something. I don't know. He was in the class. He jumped up, and he said, you don't walk your talk. And Martin looked at him and said, well, I've never claimed to do that. <laughs> and I enjoyed the, the, the comeback. Uh, later on a break, Martin and I were walking. He said, man, can you imagine if we could do that? If we could walk our talk, being in the human potential field? Uh, what I'm leading to is what I've said before, and I, and I stand by this. I don't understand life. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, if there is a God, I really question that. Uh, my nephew is a great kid. He, for his high school prom, there was a mix-up. He did, didn't get to go, so he called all his friends and he said, look, I'll stay sober and I'll pick you up wherever you need to be picked up. And that's just the kind of kid he is. He's a good kid. And to have his first child die just before it's born, I mean just before it's born and afterward, they can't find anything wrong with the baby after it was born dead. Uh... I don't think he deserves it, and I know life isn't about deserving or not deserving. Uh, I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, for the most part, I enjoy it. These sorts of things throw me for a loop because they don't make any sense to me, but they kind of tell me, well, this is life. This is the life you're living. Uh, see if you can enjoy it. See if you can figure out how to have fun with it. <laughs> I say most of the time I do. Things like this make it a challenge. Good luck. Have fun in your lives. www.micpeakperformance.com